The Kid Detective. This movie is about some I really love. Detective shit. Yeah. Or solving mysteries and shit. And it's and it's basically stars Josh Brody, I think his name is Josh Brody. He basically is a kid who solves crime. He not solves crimes. He solves like little mysteries. baby little little baby mysteries yeah, and little shit. Little small town shit. Right. And people love him and shit. He, they even fund him to get his own office and he solves crimes. But when a young girl becomes missing, man, he couldn't solve that shit. <laughs> And it's yeah, sort of, his, it was his own best friend too. And it sort of fucked his life up. Not fuck. Well, well, it kind of, it did. It fucked his yeah, it fucked his life up. He, he hurt his hurt himself because he not hurt himself, but he hurt he was hurting himself. He's like, damn man, I can find my own fucking this girl that was missing type shit. So the movie's about this young boy who um becomes missing. Well, Maki, I'll let you you can tell y'all. Go ahead. So he becomes an adult and he's pretty much depressed and better. Because that was his friend that went missing during the side of the case. So he gets a big break to reclaim his title. So this young girl in high school comes to ask him, can you solve my friend's murder? Or his boyfriend, her boyfriend murder. And he assisted no problem. Like he doesn't even ask for payment. He goes, hey, look, I'm just, I will solve this murder for you if you could help me out, you know, give me a ride to wherever you need to. Shut up that. Because soon out it kind of his heart and realizes that because this girl, this girl reminds him of his friend that went missing for some reason. So they're trying to figure out how her boyfriend got murdered. Mm-hmm. So they go, I want to say, back to the school, go through his locker, see if they are, it's like any clues on how he got murdered. Because um, he was murdered brutally. He got stabbed 17 times and his body got dumped in the river. Ooh. And they thinking that uh, it could have been a drug that gone wrong or he got involved in like uh, some satanic cult and he was a sacrifice. So they pretty much try to find anything about him that could link his death to like any occult stuff or you no. Know, even if he could commit suicide, which I mean, um, why would he stab himself 17 Yeah, times? that's the funniest part when um, they are like, yeah, he's Asian. I'm like, Asian boy? Asian boy. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Asian boy was going rocking, okay, rock and rolling, nigga. Yeah, yeah, little Asian boy. Actually, he was kind of a player because yeah. um, when there was a turkey game, he's a homeboy. He's like, yeah, he had a, he, he was also yeah, he had two guys. Right? He's getting right. he getting his dick sucked by another girl. <laughs> yeah, he's taking pictures with too. Yeah, he had a picture of the girl in the locker. Mm. They go to the locker, find this fucking drug that makes you. It's like the more depressed you are, if you take this drug, it's gonna. It's an ego booster. So they're trying to chase the ego booster drug and they chase it to these kids who, you know. <laughs> Still on the stoop. The tick, yeah. It's on the wall or whatever. Wall. And the detective was like, yeah, you guys, you kids look like you need this ego booster. Look at how depressed <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> the case that he was working, he basically realized they both connected. Yeah. He sees some origami stuff that the girl keeps getting uh, who's looking for a Jap- Japanese or Asian boyfriend. Like, huh. This looks familiar. So he goes back and digs his old boxes for Mr. Girl back in the day. He realized, damn, the same origami piece was in her shit. So he goes back to the mom whose daughter's missing house. Like, can I check out your, your daughter's room one more time? She's like, yeah, we kept it pristine for, you know, so long. Yeah. Even if my, after my husband died. He go in her, he see the same thing in her shit. He's like, damn, it's the same person. So... He's like, damn, who could do that? And he realized it was the principal. The principal had to do it because of things he kept saying. He basically did some Sherlock shit. He analyzed everything throughout his life. Like, oh, the principal was saying some creep shit. Mm -hmm. Like, why kids don't respect authority? Uh huh. Or talk about how youth is fleeting and, you know, Mm -hmm. how the youth don't, how the youth foster innocence. Mm-hmm. Cause creepy shit. Yeah, cold shit. Yeah. And shit, I forgot to bring the scene up. Yeah, it's kind of place to the spoiler. So go ahead. One of the kids that took a big case was finding the mystery of the stolen cash box. Mm-hmm. So he figured out the cash box was in his kid's desk. Mm-hmm. He got suspended. Mm-hmm. Twenty years later, the kid finds him and beat the fuck out of him outside the bar, mm. thinking he still had a grudge by you know getting suspended. Come to find out, 